like especially now like we're in a rainy season and you find that we have much more milk than what we can handle and you find that it was a challenge we sometimes we even send away farmers that we don't have room where to put your milk and sometimes you find that the milk in the rainy season it uses the, the, the prices go down so much that sustaining a farm becomes a challenge One of the challenges we have in this country is our failure to appreciate and sustain markets. So when you see a market is lucrative, the market is good, then you tend to, to think that you want to maximize uh, the benefits out of this market. For example, if it's about milk, now you want to add uh, water into the milk because you think the milk is now at a good price. <laughs> Like I mentioned, the UHD equipment has already been installed for Toro Dairy and uh, is almost uh, getting uh, operational. But uh, the two for our foods in Sinjiro and Abitanga in, uh, in Sembable are yet to come. They will be received in the country in May and will be installed immediately after. So those things definitely will help the farmers and in return it is indirectly helping to the, uh, in the sorry, directly it helps to the uh, processors also. We will get the, the best quality of milk and which we are going to export to the different countries. Kenya stopping uh, uh, us from selling our products to them to me is laughable. This is the time for us to cultivate options in other countries, but also it's high time we promote our milk internally. We have so many schools, we have so many offices.